Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we are going to check out part two of the bulk of the Dream Academy videos that we're missing out on. It should be the prep vlog as well as the judge commentary. I am really curious to see what the judges say in this round. I feel like I've been pretty spot on most of the times, but if you like videos like this, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you like to see more. Let's get into it. Let's see what they have to say this time. Wanna be. It was so good. They picked the perfect people for that group. Good evening, guys. Here we are for the final discussion, mission three, the artistry mission. Joining us today as the guest evaluator, we have Missy, who is the senior TND program manager. As long as everyone you've been oh, with yeah, the contestants she's sick. Of the okay. so having your insight is invaluable. So thank you for joining us. It's I was gonna say somebody's missing here. An amazing journey with the contestants, and I'm so excited to see their growth and review it with you guys and hopefully give you some insight to the behind the scenes, their personalities and everything that only a few of us get to experience. Mission <laughs> So as mentioned, Mission 3, The Artistry, here we are. In this challenge, the contestants are tasked with demonstrating their versatility through three different distinct performance concepts. Why is it important for these contestants to perform different concepts? Artists are concept of performance and I agree completely. I think our training and development program um, had a goal of creating well-rounded artists and that's why we had the girls train and different genres such as you know hip hop and ballet and heels to make sure they were prepared for opportunities like this. Great. Yeah. I think with that we'll get started, let's get into the first performance, which yeah. is Demi Lovato Confident. And in that we have Lara, Marquis, mm -hmm. Megan, and Yucha. The confident group is doing what I thought it was well. 그리고 저는 사실 이 그룹에서 첫 번째로 라라 참가자를 얘기를 하고 싶은데 제가 느끼기에는 이 라라 참가자가 이 컨셉과 이 퍼포먼스를 제일 잘 소화하지 않았나 음. 메간 참가자는 음, 미션이 거듭될수록 확실히 안정감 있게 잘 올라오고 있는 것 같아요 마키는 음, 제가 사실 진짜 처음 미션 때부터 계속 했었던 얘긴데 본인이 가지고 있는 그런 매력을 이렇게 팀 안에서는 매력을 발사 매력 발산을 잘 못하는 것 같아요. 그러니까 이거는 어 본인의 실력도 되게 too. 중요하고 본인의 그런 스타성도 되게 중요하기는 한데 결국에는 그 모든 것들을 아우르는 에너지이거든요. 근데 이거는 솔로로 활동을 하지 않고 그룹으로 활동을 할 어, 사람이라면 정말로 가장 먼저 극복해야 될 문제인 것 같아요. 사람들이 찾아가서 봐주지는 않거든요. 본인이 뚫고 나가야 돼요. 근데 마키는 지금 미션이 거듭될수록 그런 것들을 못 보여주고 있는 점이 참 아쉬운 것 같아요. So Marky had a back injury, a pretty bad back injury the night before, which was kind of concerning. I don't think that any of audience members will know that she was injured from the video, so I'm I'm happy and I know she'll be happy about that. I am I'm super hard on Marky. I think we all are because we have such a high expectation of her. And um, I think she rose to the occasion. To be able to give that performance she gave with that mm -hmm. injury, I think was really impressive. Um, for me, I think vocally she has such a unique tone in a good way, and I think her confidence just from knowing her from the beginning up until now has been great. I think she's she's really grown into herself, which is super impressive to see. 네, 사실 이 컴피던트라는 곡이 어, 음역대도 너무 높고 부르기가 너무 힘든 곡임에도 불구하고 우리 참가자들이 어, 보컬 연습을 좀 많이 하고 극복을 잘 해준 것 같아요. 근데 거기에 
It's hard to cover Demi, cover Demi Lovato. It's hard to cover Demi Lovato. It's hard to cover Demi Lovato. It's Okay, let's get into the second performance, the second song, which is Buttons by the Pussycat Dolls with Daniela, Sophia, Manon, Celeste, and Nayo. This group, this Buttons group, 되게 걱정을 많이 했었고 촬영을 하는 그 순간까지도 걱정을 많이 했었었는데 음 근데 결과적으로는 모두가 진짜 혼신의 힘을 다해서 잘 집중하고 해서 어 미션을 잘 마친 것 같아요. I think to start with Daniela. I, I think Daniela is a star. Mm -hmm. She clearly pulls attention anytime she comes to the front. You could feel her presence. I think um, she got the opportunity to be a leader in this group. I group itself. 역할을 잘 해주지 않았나라고 생각을 합니다. 셀레스테, 셀레스테는 여기에서도 마찬가지로 저는 존재감이 잘 나타나지 않아, 않지 않았나라고 생각을 해요. 분명히 본인의 역량을 충분히 보여줄 수 있는 구간도 있었고 또 이렇게 옆에서 이렇게 조화롭게 이루어질 때 본인의 역량을 충분히 어, 보여줄 수 있는 구간들이 앞선 미션들보다는 좀 많았다라고 생각을 하는데 그럼에도 불구하고 좀 그런 부분이 아쉬웠던 것 같아요. Sophia towards the end battled um, like a, a sickness uh, and she was super sick so she wasn't able to make some of the end rehearsals. She, it wasn't until maybe a day before where she was wasn't finally even able to tell better. she killed it. And then um, she jumped right back in but on set she was so so sick. I hope that no one is able to tell from the mm. performance. I don't think she wanted anybody to know um, that she was um, sick. All that was important to her is that she showed up and that she pulled through and that she hopefully gets to make it to the live show. I know she literally kept saying that on set. So I think it's really important to her um, to show up and she has great leadership skills at, as well. 그리고 나영 씨. 근데 우선은 나영 씨가 그 솔로 아티스트로서의 활동에 대한 본인의 그 생각을 미시님한테 이렇게 상담을 했고 얘기를 나눴다라고 제가 들었는데 사실 그런 부분이 궁금해요. 왜 이런 미션에서 그런 부분이 나왔는지 어떤 얘기가 오갔는지 사실 좀그 부분이 궁금하긴 합니다. You know, part of training and development's job is kind of like career counseling or career guidance. So we're always speaking with the girls, the specialists are speaking with the girls, checking in with them, making sure, you know, they feel they're headed down the right path and you know, should they be eliminated? What do they think is next for themselves? That's we always cool. have those conversations with them so that they're mentally prepared for anything that, that could happen. When I was checking in with Nayang for her monthly one-on-one -on -one check in, something concerning she had said to me was that she is concerned if she makes a group, she could be taking a spot from somebody that really wants it. And that within a couple <sighs> of years, she could see herself maybe quitting and becoming a solo oh, artist. Oh no. But we're so far in the timeline and we're so close to group member selection for that to be a, a thought that's waving heavily on you and it is heartbreaking i think both for her probably and for us because she is very talented and i think what's best for her is what she initially thought she need to go home i know that there's 12 other girls that really really really, really want this opportunity it's definitely bittersweet but if someone's had an inception of that mm -hmm. thought to put them in a group is is difficult, in my opinion. Because if they've started to feel that way, you know, we're trying to build a group that transcends time. That's what sucks about Lexi, is that she was selected to move on to the next stage, and then she left. Like, 
That person could have tried. They could have had one more week. They could have really like blew everything out the water and like made it. Is the future of our label? It's the first group under the label, and I think this opportunity is huge. And we have to have partners that feel the same way, and that they really want this too. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so I think that's a perfect segue into Wannabe by the Spice Girls, Emily, Ezrella, Ua, and Samara. I think this mission is about concepts, and I think they nailed I, the yep, I, mean, I agree. When we first spoke about, you know, all the different songs we were going to use for it, I think this song to me stood out, stood out as one that would maybe be a challenge just because of the Spice Girls and the energy that they brought to it. Um, but I think all four of these you couldn't have picked four really better people for this one mm. team though that's the thing Ezrella부터 얘기를 하고 싶어요 Ezrella는 예전부터 이제 연습생 때부터 어, 저희가 이제 봐오면서 너무나도 가진 매력이 많고 특히 막 표정이나 뭐 끼나 스타성이 너무나도 많은 친구였는데 사실 그런 것들이 드림 아카데미에 들어오고 나서 많이 보여지지를 못했던 것 같아요 근데 이번 미션에서는 정말 그것들이 뚫고 나온 것 같아요. 그러니까 지금까지 뭔가 본인이 가지고 있는 것들을 한껏 움츠리고 있다가 이번 미션을 통해서 잘 표현을 해주고 뚫고 나온 것 같아서 너무 기분 좋았고 아마 많은 대중분들도 그런 에시렐라 모습을 보고 좋아해 주실 거라고 저는 예상을 해요. 음 그리고 어, 우아 우아를 얘기를 하자면. 저는 사실 지금 워너비 같은 이런 곡의 퍼포먼스를 할때 보여질 되게 귀엽고 그 나이에 맞는 되게 어린 그 매력을 봤었거든요. 그래서 이 미션에 함께 할수 있게 돼서 저는 되게 다행이었고 뭔가 좋은 기회라고 저는 생각을 했었어요. 하지만 저희는 어 춤으로만 평가를 받는 자리가 아니라 보컬적인 부분도 너무나도 중요하기 때문에 사실 우아가 가야 될 길에서 너무나도 멀죠. 냉정하게 말씀드리면 보컬 연습이 더 필요하고 yes. 본인도 지금 많이 노력하고 있고 처음 드림 아카데미에 합류했을 때보다 더 많이 성장을 하고는 있지만 어, 앞으로 우아는 음, 노력을 더 해야 될 거라고 생각을 합니다. I know that there's two major labels working on this project, but I don't think what everyone gets to see is how hard these girls work. Um, and they're also human beings. <laughs> so I don't think I, I talked about, but Ezrello um, lost someone very close to her recently. So on top of dealing with that as a normal human being, you know, she also perform gave that performance, which I think is one of her best. And I don't think anybody on set knew that. Um, and anyone outside of TNT knew that. But, you know, these girls, they go through injury and illness and, um, heartbreak and all really, really real human being things, and they are doing everything they can to be considered to be a group member. So, yeah, I, I hope that people just know that. Mm -hmm. I think as we wrap, I want to extend my heartfelt thank you to Missy, not just for today and giving your valuable insight, but just for everything over the last two years, and you know, your guidance for all of the contestants, I think, has been instrumental to all of this. So, thank you so much, and thank you for coming today. So that was mission three. Yeah. Now we're into the final stretch, which feels very, very surreal to say that. You know, we have one final elimination left and then we're in the top, top 10. 10. We get to the live show and then we unveil the group. And I think <sighs> the pressure and the tension has never been this high. So it feels, you know, as I say, it feels surreal to be in this spot. Um, so get ready. This is it. Let's right. do it. <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm like so nervous still. Like I'm pretty confident in my ranking so far. And even with the rankings that I had, I feel like everybody that I had closer towards the bottom, hearing that a couple more people have moved towards the bottom or, you know, maybe moved up like one spot. We'll have to see. The prep vlog. They did upload one. I had to find it. So we are at the rice team. Because we are all Asian. And we all like rice. We're all from different parts <laughs> of Asia. <laughs> well, I'm Indian. So I'm Basmati rice. I am bibimbap. <laughs> Sticky rice. Fried rice. R-I-C-E. Rice team.
Wait, that wasn't like a movie at all. We are doing Confident by Demi Lovato. So this song is very, very, very powerful. I feel like the overall theme is like girl power, strong women, fierce, like fighter energy, which I think is a side that we haven't really got to like show to the world yet. And I feel like the last chorus, we're all fighting. <laughs> we're fighting. We're fighting. For and our with lives. the like runs, yeah. it's definitely difficult. <laughs> we're out of breath. This mission will be the first time we'll ever do original choreography mm -hmm. and not like a cover dance, which is super exciting because I'm excited for everyone to see like what we can do like outside of these covers and it'll be just like a new thing that people get to in this. I think the hardest part was probably like singing and dancing at the same time because the choreo is by itself is already so crazy and then even adding like the vocals, like the vocals itself is crazy. No, that's a whole itself. performance. Yeah, it's itself. a whole thing. <laughs> and then adding them both together, it's like breath support on a hundred. It's almost like doing like this. Yeah. <laughs> this is like... Oh, with that girl. Can't feel it's like thick. We're using zip up hoodies, which I think we can all agree was a story <laughs> on its own <laughs> because it was really difficult, especially just learning it. Uh, 자켓을 이렇게 묶는 그런 안무가 있는데 그거를 하는 게 되게 힘들었어서 저희 다 같이 연습을 엄청 오래 하고 그랬던 걸로 기억이 나니. I haven't been in a mission with any of these ladies yet, so this was my first time like practicing and being like in rehearsal with them. Megan has been the most like very reliable because she's like an insane dancer and insane singer. So it's weird talking about you when you're behind me, but I can't like see you. So like, <laughs> and you also have weirdly really good breath control. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like it's. <laughs> As we all touched based on a little earlier, Confident is such a physically hard dance by itself, like even without the singing. And all of us at some point got injured or like physically hurt somehow, especially me with like my back. And Confident is like- Back heavy. <laughs> like it's really back heavy. It's a queen. Yes. <laughs> like. <laughs> little worried about myself, but pretty good overall. Especially like with all of this on and seeing everybody and the set. Yeah, it feels really good. You look yeah. so good working. And you look so like shiny. <laughs> yeah, I'm so so shiny. You look really <laughs> shiny. Yeah. Yeah. The hardest part of this routine is the ending. The end part. Because course. you need to push. And it's like the most like singy and we also like just went through a whole dance and like we're winded already. It's just so hard. Ah, 지금 너무 구두를 높은 그걸 신었고 커가지고 중심 잡기 하나 모르겠어. I have to drop the jacket the same way each time on my hand because if you don't, then it keeps like it's it's changing. Keep, you drop it differently each time. So can we try it right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Why am I getting like the most? That was like... I love this dance. Like, I'm gonna be so sad. No, I'm like in the motion. This was our last video mission, and now it's gonna be to the live show. Bride team is forever. Bride team forever. Closing out. We ended all the video missions with a bang, and I'm proud of my team for their hard work and you know just doing their thing. And go Pookies. Let's go, Rice team. This is not the end of Rice team. Period. Rice team forever. Rice team forever. Rice is life. 
One, two, three, stop! So for mission three, we're doing the song Buttons by the Pussycat Dolls. Buttons, it's like a really good song. It's so powerful, it's so cool. The Pussycat Dolls, they're like really iconic. Once it gets to the dance break, it's like really hard, especially because I'm in the front. So I have to like really like hit it. But yeah, by that time I'm like gassed. Like I can't, it's exhausting for sure. Six, ten, seven. I loved like the original choreo we had and working with Grant too, he's such an amazing choreographer and he gave us so much energy. Yeah, I need to see the accent of sit and a crack. The song seems like I feel like we we could have had more moments working as a team because yeah. just because like people were consistently out like Sophia had COVID and like some of us just would get injured. Where was Celeste? When there's people yeah. missing, like yeah, you can feel it. You can feel it, and it's, it's not, kind of depressing yeah. actually. But yeah, like when is, everybody actually, shows yeah. up, when Sophia, Sophia, when you showed up after like you recovered from COVID, like the, that yeah. rehearsal was so much that was fun. The <laughs> when you did that first, I was like laughing. I was so <laughs> and someone was there, and I was like. Oh, yeah, for the and he was like strike the arms and shake the hips. I was like, I'm not going to do it. I can't hear you that well. 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 I can't hear you for a lot of us, it was like the first time working with props, like chairs, and it was it was fire. I loved it. Yeah. I think, especially with our choreography and the chairs, we really needed to work as a team because there's this one section where we have to align the chairs so I could like go on top of them and do my little thing on there. It's like crazy. I'm like so sweaty, it's not normal. And this is not blush. This is me overheating. <laughs> For this dance, I have to bring a very powerful energy, like sexy, hot. It was really, really hard for me, but now that I was practicing with Danny and Mano, Sophia, they're really good at it. Like, they have those vibes. So I was like, always watching them in rehearsals, and I was like, okay, I have to do that. Like, oh, Danny's really good at it. I have to do like this step, like this. Uh, Look at these cars. Amazing. I got my driver's license. I got this for my 20th birthday, you know. I've always wanted a car. Do I have a license? No. I actually want to drive back to Korea so I can go to the Korean convenience store because that's some place I went to every single day when we were in Korea. I am really excited, especially for this dance, because I swear, like, this is like my favorite dance out of like a lot of dances, and I just feel like this dance is so me, and I think it's so sexy and sassy, and I love that, and I love the outfits, just like the location, the makeup, just the, the whole vibe. It's really exciting. Everybody's working so hard, and today, being here <laughs> on set with the fits, the hair, it's my first time wearing the outfit, I even missed the fitting, and I am obsessed. They did me so good, they did me so good with the hair, the bold lip, I'm obsessed. So, I'm feeling a lot better. I did everything I could, like, I sat under the sun a little bit earlier, vitamins, lots of water, hydrating. 
미션 마지막 촬영 날이라서 뭔가 그동안 친구들이랑 열심히 해왔던 것도 계속 머릿속에서 스쳐 지나가고 또 마지막인 만큼 더 열심히 힘내서 잘 마무리하고 싶어요. I think for this mission, it's the most challenging, yet I feel like it should be one of the easiest missions almost because what it is is artistry and that's something that you can't teach us in the program. That's something that we bring out within ourselves. This was the time to truly show everything that we've got through our eyes and what we're giving through the screen. <laughs> we are the Sugar Girls! I am the Tim Tam Girl. I'm a Beavis Guys. And I'm a Brigadero Girl. Ooh. And I'm a Sour Patch Girl. Um, so we are doing Wanna Be by Spicy Girls. When we first heard the announcement, I feel like we were all just super excited. I feel like Wanna Be is literally the song that represents all of us so well and our personalities so well. And I think like the four of us together is just like such a fun group because we're yeah. all super bubbly and we're all a little bit... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is definitely the ultimate like girl power song with all the girls like within our like little wannabe characteristics It's like always like a hint of us in this so I feel like we applied that to like the dynamic Something really special about this mission is that it's a concept mission and it's all original choreography with the other missions we've been doing covers so this is our first time showing the audience like something that's original of like our different concepts and I think it's really cool like the confident concept and the buttons concept and the wannabe concept they're all so different ジェンガイルとみんなとのコミュニケーションの手助けになってくれて私のことも気を使ってくれていっぱい話してくださって一緒に出とっても安心できるしとても優しくて大好きです I feel like there was many challenges, especially with this mission. I think coming back from Korea, we were all very jet lagged. Coming back from mission two and especially elimination, it was a lot mentally. Also, like there was a period of time where it was just like either two of us in rehearsal or three of us in rehearsal. And like, I feel like it was just recently that all four of us were in rehearsal together just because of different factors and different things. There's a lot going on. Sometimes our body's just sore and we're going through mental health issues and being able to not show that on our performance, I think is a challenge. We all knew we were going through hardships and we were facing similar things. So we knew that together we had to like create a positive environment so that we could have a positive class and give that true, like genuine positive energy. I want to think about things we want to release from the energy of this piece right now. Things we don't want to feel when we perform this. And then we're going to go around and then I want you to speak it into the circle. Emily, what do you want to release? Exhaustion. Exhaustion's there. This what do you want to great. Everything. Everything. You can make a list. Worry. I think the girls are really stressing out as the shoot day is approaching. This dance is very challenging because it's created to be fun, lighthearted, and very spirited. And a lot of the girls just are mentally struggling outside of this work. I'm doing a lot of work right now to remind them about their purpose and their light. We should take it up, grab all of this energy. We're gonna toss it, release it here. Ready? Three, two, one, three. Let's go. There was a day where it was just me and Azrella, and like we were just goofing around, and like we were just like, it, it is what it is. It was when I looked you in the eye, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> it was the twitch too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So tomorrow we obviously are filming our performance. So right now we're on the set of Wannabe and we're super excited. We're getting mic'd up. The turf is actually not that bad. I was a little bit nervous, but I feel like it's it's pretty good. I feel like it's better than like concrete. 
And it matches literally Dream Academy. It's literally like navy blue. Somebody down and wind it all around. Somebody down and wind it all around. You've been working that hair all day. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Yesterday in rehearsal, we we're doing our last take, and my we're in platform sneakers, and my ankle fully twisted, and it oh, no. <laughs> cracked a little bit. It's the aftermath of the little like crack of the ankle, and we're on platforms too, so it was like. I know what that. So it's just it's just hurting a little bit. In between takes, I'm trying to ice it, but I have a little cast on it right now, so it's helping. <laughs> I'm Jasmine if she was the street rat now. <laughs> yes. Because Aladdin is normally the street rat. Instead of my trusty monkey, it'll be with my taiga, and we'll be living the street life, and we'll be scaring people with my taiga. D R E A M. Can you do like cool effects and like sounds? Yes. I'm very happy with my team and how we did. I feel like we really pushed through today and we gave a really good performance and we're all connected through friendship and love and the Spice Girls. Hashtag Team Dream Academy Spice. Hashtag Team Dream Academy Spice and everything nice. So that's it for this one. I like the longer judge commentary on this one. It's really interesting to hear that about Nayoung. And honestly, I wonder if this happened before or after the voting, but if you want to be a soloist, just go home. Like, don't drag it out for everybody else that wants to be here. And of course, I've been thoroughly enjoying the prep vlogs now that they are a decent format. I love the chemistry between the confident team and the wannabe team like it's so good to see like i feel like it's always the same people in each one of these groups and they have such good chemistry with everyone even when there's just two of them they're like saying that they're having such a good time so i think that they would be really important to have in the group but let me know what you think in the comments about this let me know what your favorite performance group was out of this one if you like this video make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more see you in the next one bye